how beautifully Lord Krishna is revealing to us the consciousness in which we should engage in work. And the consequence will be, you will be completely free from stress, from anxiety, apparently doing everything. From within, you will be doing nothing. If we have this mind, mind, the sense of proprietorship, the tension will never end because it comes with the need to protect, the fear that I will lose it. Bhagavad Gita Chapter 4 Verse Chanting is followed by translation and commentary by Swami Mukundananda. निराशीर्यत चित्तात्मा व्यक्त सर्व परिग्रह शरीरम केवलम कर्म पूर्वन्नाप्नोति किल विषम फ्री फ्रॉम एक्सपेक्टेशंस एंड द सेंस ऑफ ओनरशिप विद द माइंड and intellect fully controlled, they incur no sin even though performing actions by their body. We people, when we engage in actions, we experience disturbance from within. There is hankering and aversion we are affected by anxiety, fear, brooding, lamentation. The saints are also engaging in work. And even though apparently working from the outside, their internal state is different. So that inner state of working in divine consciousness is being explained. They are working without self-expectation. I need this is missing. And hence, there is no disappointment as well. Plus, he says, Nirashiryat Chittatma, no expectations, just focusing on their duty. And the second point, he says, Tyak. The Sarva Parigraha. They don't have the sense of proprietorship. One devotee said to me in Delhi, Swamiji, come over to Nehru place. I have got my flat there. So I went over and I said, Which is your flat? Is it the floor? If it is, the person below will say that this is my roof. Or is it the roof? The person above will say it's my floor. And the side walls will be claimed likewise by your neighbors. If you say it is this space, the mosquitoes and the flies will say it is our space. This idea that the world objects are mine is actually our misconception. On the hills, on the valleys, there is no board of Tatas and Birlas written. This whole world belongs to God. We all know we came empty-handed and we shall go empty-handed. But we seem to keep forgetting. And in a little circle of ours, we stake our claim, this is mine and this is mine. Ashanam me, vasanam me, dara me, bandhu vargo me, iti me me kurvanam kalavriko hanti purushajam. Somebody says, the clothes are mine, the house is mine, this family is mine. So mine in Sanskrit is me. 
the sanskrit verse says you know the goat keeps on doing me me and the wolf comes and eats it likewise when we go on saying me me this is mine this is mine the consequence is that the wolf of time comes and eats us up and keeps us rotating in the cycle of life and death so this concept that world is mine is keeping us in bondage the saints are also living in this world but they don't feel a sense of proprietorship it's not that you have to renounce the world they are right in this world guru nanak was a saint in his youth his parents they saw that he is too devotional so they got him married and he was still not forsaking the bhajans so his father would force him to go and sit on the grocer's shop that he owned now there when a customer would come and ask for something guru nanak would say okay wa ek do teen counting how many did you want 15 das 11 12 13 so moment he would come to 13 yours then he would go on 13 13 13 everything is yours my lord so the parents realized that he can never be a shopkeeper but that is an extreme attitude probably it becomes dysfunctional in the world ravindranath tagore expressed his own sentiment of freedom from proprietorship he was a poet par excellence and the fact that he won the nobel prize for his anthology of poems called the gitanjali was just a little accolade for the immense ability he had and yet out of his humbleness he said my lord everything that is good in my poetry is yours it has come from you everything that is bad is mine it is because of my lack of surrender and my lack of complete connection with you that these blemishes are still there so that is the freedom from the sense of proprietorship otherwise if we have this mine mine the tension will never end because it comes with the need to protect the fear that i will lose it there was once an eagle that found a roti and it picked up the roti now the amount of anticipatory joy it was experiencing from the roti was immense it's like what you would experience when you have that very special pizza etc so for the eagle that roti was so promising he took it up and went up into the sky when the crows started attacking it so crows from here and from there and everywhere and the eagle was miserable and then he said okay let go the moment it released that roti it found peace so likewise if we can give up the sense of proprietorship from inside then what is will happen earlier on he said work without expectation as a sense of duty without sense of proprietorship then the work that you do will not bind you because god doesn't see the externals god sees the internals the world looks on the outside ha ah, this person is killing so and so god sees what is the intention he is an army man he is just following the instructions of the general he has got no rag dwesh 
no internal animosity or love or hate or anything and god says all right no consequences likewise the saints do when they work in such divine consciousness to maintain their body and to serve god those karmas then do not bind them 